everyone, it's me Emily and welcome to another video. In today's video, you're going to see me trying to knit the JW Anderson cardigan that Harry Styles wore. Let's get started, shall we? I think I'm doing it wrong. Welcome to day two of trying to figure out how to make Harry Styles cardigan. Um, I worked until 11 p.m. yesterday. This is all I managed to do. So today's plan is to um, finish the first patch and then I can see how much wool I needed per patch. So I will weigh this thing again and I will see how much wool I used. And then I can kind of like do the math to figure out how much wool I need in total. And then I will basically go to the mall and I will get the rest of the wool. Now what I'm going to do is, because I don't have enough wool, I will now go downstairs and I will weigh how much wool I have left because I also weighed it yesterday. And it was 26 grams and I will see how much wool I used for one thing. And then I will do the math for how much wool I need in total. I have just weighed how much wool I have left and also weighed how much these things weighs. And I actually just needed four grams for this thing. Four grams of wool for this thing. Which I will now do the math with. I need one more red yarn, two black yarns, two yellow yarns, two orange yarns, one green yarn and one blue yarn, and also two other red yarns. So I just <clears throat> went to the wall, wall, I went to the wall, no, I went to the mall, and I got nearly all of the wools that I needed. So I got the yellow wool, the red wool, the, the black wool, the blue wool, and also this like R something yarn that we need for like the cuffs or whatever you call this. <laughs> I also got this, but I didn't get the orange and the second green. Um, so I will have to order those. And then I hope that they will arrive soon so I can keep on working. I've just finished the first panel. It's, it looks a bit floppy, not gonna lie. It looks very hor horrible holding it up, but if you lay it down and pull it out a bit, and it's going to be like it's going to keep that form because you're going to like knit it or like to, you're going to stitch it together and so it will hold like its form so it will look better eventually i'm really excited for what everything's going to look like today is day three of trying to knit my own harry styles jw anderson cardigan so actually what i did yesterday was i started with the second patch so this is a one, no it's not one patch, it's like one bit. You have to do a whole bunch of those bits and then you have to sew them together. That is the first one, as you can see, it is very tight on those bits. And it's not that cute, but if you stretch it out, it will work out somehow. And for the second one, I kind of learned from my mistakes and I didn't do it as tight anymore. And that's how it turned out, so it's a bit different. So it has the chocard, the yellow bit, the black bit and the green bit. So that's what I did today. It is... For the back, the back, I think, left shoulder or the right shoulder, it's the right shoulder. It looks cute. That one is definitely cuter. And I now am starting on my third thingy wingy. I don't know what you call them, <laughs> got the name. Today I will just keep on doing the red bit and I will just keep on working on this one. This one will be actually an exact replica of that one because we needed one for the back and one for the front. That's all I'm going to do for today. We'll see each other tomorrow and then we'll also see how far I Hello everyone. Welcome to day four of trying to make the JW Anderson cardigan that was worn by Harry Styles. I don't know if I already told you but I'm trying to make a and the original cardigan does not have a v-nag it's just a normal line. So now I have to come up with um, how to do the v-nag and like all the 
measurements and how long I have to make everything. I just finished doing the bed. It actually turned out so good. Like it has the, the angle that it has. I hope that now it is the right thing, but it's like supposed to be somewhere right here. And it has the angle it needs to have. Hello everyone. And welcome to day five of knitting the hairstyles JW Anderson cardigan. It is already nearly 8 p.m. What I did is, I don't know how much I showed you, but I'm just going to show you what I finished yesterday evening. I think I did show you this one. Um, this basically is the one, th this is basically the bit where I'm going to have the, I forgot what it's called, I like the collar. So I managed to figure it out, how to do it, and actually it looks really cool. And I finished this one yesterday. I currently have it on like a pen because I don't have the orange yet and then I will have to keep on knitting with the orange. So I'm just having it on here instead of like a knitting needle so I can keep on knitting. And then what I also did was I started this bit, which is for the back. And as you also can see, this is I think a bit where the orange belongs. I don't have the orange yet. So I just put it onto another pen. This looks really good and also the green looks so good. Like this is the best I ever did on the green. So this looks amazing. And now I am, um, I already have started to knit the sixth piece, which is going to be a back piece, I think. Yeah, this is going to be a back piece, which I also can't completely finish because it has orange on the top. I'm just going to keep on knitting this. I probably will knit all night long. Welcome back to the I think it is day six of knitting. I just finished the one I started yesterday, which is, let me just show you, this one. As you can see, I also put that one on a pencil just because I don't have the orange yet and I will have to add that, blah, blah, blah. And basically what I just did, I'm just going to show you this right now, is that I basically, I already have six patches, or not patches, what do you call this? Yeah, I forgot what, you, I always forget what you call it, but it doesn't matter. What I basically did is, as you can see, I took all the patches that I have because I already have six patches and that's like the width for the cardigan even though this is not the right arrangement and how where, where they should be so these two are actually, these two are actually meant to be in the front but the rest is on the proper, proper place where they should be and yeah, I was like measuring it and it was like this is just 41 centimeters but it's not stretched at all just to see like how much I have done already Hello and welcome to day 6. I think it's day 6. I'm not 100% sure but I'm 90% sure that it's day 6. Um, I finished. What I did yesterday is I completely finished all the patches, or not patches, panels that I could get started for the main body, which there are not that many of, if I'm honest. So I basically am just going to show you. This is all I did for now. So I have, of course, the three pieces that are already finished because I have all the wool for those pieces. And then I have all the pieces that I could already start but I can't keep on doing. I, I don't have the color, it's not like that much of an option. Basically, I'm going to be doing the, or getting started on the sleeves. I finished the chacard pattern and the yellow pattern and I just finished the black pattern. I have to do those two <laughs> again. Hello everyone, welcome to day, I think it is day seven, of knitting the JW Anderson cardigan. I'm going to start working on this exact same patch for the sleeve. Hello, welcome back. It's the same day, even though I wear something different. I know, it is cold, even though the sun is shining, but it's really cold. I just finished the last patch that I can get started on and this now means that I'm going to start working on the either cuffs or the ribs. I just finished the first cuff. Don't mind this bit, I know it's a bit wonky but if I roll it how it should be in the end it is actually perfect and it fits me. That is really exciting. I'm really excited that this cuff worked out. I love it. I genuinely do. Hello and welcome to day eight, I think, of knitting the JW Anderson cardigan. I am currently, whoops, um, knitting, surprise, surprise, I'm knitting. It's not like I've been doing this the past eight days, but whatever. I started with the orange. What I basically did with yesterday with the orange is I did 
or not the orange, but I also did something with green, so I did one shoulder, this is for the front, right here. And I actually did the shoulder that is going there on the back. That's kind of what it's going to look like. And now I'm starting to realize how short it is on the back. The neck piece is done. It looks so funny because it's just like this. Hi, welcome to day. I actually have no clue what day it is today. I think it's day 8. No, day 9. I think it's day nine. I have so many things already finished. I have been knitting all day long, so it's already 10 to 6 p.m. What I basically did today is I added this green bit to the sleeve. I think I did her actually. Yes. Yeah, I did this one. This one is for the front, the disc complete panel and this one piece. So it's five patches. I now have completely, I actually didn't tell you this yesterday, but I completely finished all the panels for the back, so the back is completely done. I just have to sew it together, but that's like the last step. I'm not going to do that now, I'm not going to worry about that. And I now, now that I've finished another panel, so this panel, that one is for the front. I only have to do two more panels for the front, and then I'll have to do the sleeves. Welcome to day 10. I actually managed to finish this whole entire red bit. I started it yesterday, I just had like a few rows done and now I finished it. It also has like the, I don't know what you call it, I forgot it, but like the edge. And now I'm starting, I've already started on the last piece for the, for the front, um, which is going to be the one which is like super cut, like this piece. So those two will be very similar. Um, and then once I'm done with this, I hope that I'll be able to get the, at least this green patch done. Hello everyone! Welcome to day 12 of knitting. I know that I didn't check in with you yesterday on day 11. Um, all I basically did was finish all the started sleeve patches. I have finished all of them that I already started. They're in total are full per sleeve, which means eight in total. I have currently finished four, so I have to do four more. Halfway done. And this is what one of them looks like. And today I already started on another patch of the sleeve. Okay, so I just thought that I would quickly check in with you. It's still the same day. It's still day 12. And I just wanted to show you my progress because I'm really happy with my progress, what I did today. And yes, I just am so happy because I, I think I told you what, what my plans were for today. I wanted to finish two panels today. And I actually finished both. Um, I've both finished. Um, and I ran a bit of, into a bit of an issue with the colors. So I had to like use another red and this... I had to make like a red. It's not that much of a difference. I think from afar you can't even tell, but I can tell because I made it. So, <laughs> yeah, but I made those two. I am actually so happy with them. That's what they look like. And because I finished so early with those two, I already could start on the second to last panel and actually finished the red patch which actually should be a green patch but i do not have any green wool anymore so i just made it into a red patch because i did have a bit of red this is all of the red that i have left i'm going to have a look on if i can like do another red panel for the uh, patch for the second panel that i'll have to do or the last panel that i'll have to do and we'll see about that i probably will still get started and then i will see how much i still have left and then i will just do like the bits that is like missing for like in black i did this for like a few other pa panels and those then are just the panels like the panels where i have to mess like with that one had to, not didn't have the exact same red so i had to like redo it um have like there's like a difference it actually looks like it like it's wet on top and it's like dry on the bottom it's kind of funny but like those panels that are a bit off or that yeah that are just not the best looking where there's like a few mistakes i just put it onto the back because i feel like the back is not like the main piece um really happy with this um i don't know how much i will be able to do hi welcome it's day 13 and i just finished the last panel i am so happy that i finished it i mean i still have to knit like so much but i finished the last panel it's done i know it looks a bit weird let me show you the other one that's what it should look like. I know the red is a lot shorter and so the black is a lot longer, but that's just how I did it. Wait, that's the wrong way around. I still think that they look really cool. And I am just so happy right now that I'm done, like genuinely. I'm done. 
with the main part of the knitting. I'm done with the body. And it's what what time what time is it? It's like quarter past three p.m. Which means I still have so much time, so probably okay. So the plan now. The plan now is to start sewing together all the pieces to get the main body done. So taking all those panels that I have right here, all the knitted bits. The plan is to take all those bits, all those panels, and sew them together. <laughs> it says like some sort of like a specific stitch that I'll have to do. I'll have to get to know what this stitch is because I don't know anything about stitching things together. I mean, I do know some things about it, but not a lot. But I will sew. So as you can see, I just laid everything out to so the back and the front. And this is kind of the layout. You can see kind of like where this bit is like a lot longer. Or right here, I have like two different red colors. Or like there, the green is a bit shorter. So I put those bits that are kind of like wrong. And like I had to mix it up a bit. I put those on the back. And the more beautiful, the ones that are proper sizing and everything, I put them in the front. So the plan is to start stitching them together. I'm not going to start in the front. I'm going to start in the back. I think that's pretty logical to do. I also did it with the knitting. I first started knitting the things that I put in the back because I was like, yeah, I'm not quite sure on you. <laughs> so the things, you know, when you get started, just do it in the back because the back's kind of like, you maybe, you probably can't see it anyways, especially with me having pretty long hair. My hair probably will just flow over it. So yeah, and probably in school only people who sit behind me will see it. So I don't mind. I'm just now going to try and somehow figure out how to stitch these things together. And I'm just so excited for it. I hope that I'll be able to do everything today. So I can like kind of pre-wear it and then I can get started on the button buttons because I have to do two. So one with just the buttons and the other one with the button holes. For sewing everything together, I'm going to use the, I don't know if like it's proper iron weighted yarn, but this is my substitute to iron weight yarn. I don't know what iron weight yarn is. I just took that one because I felt like, oh, that's quite a nice material. I could think that this is kind of nice material for cuffs and whatever. And it says that we should use this for sewing it together, which I think is quite good because it's quite thin and it seems like you can stitch it together quite well. And it's kind of like, it feels like it doesn't rip as easily as like the thin ones. I'm gonna get started on sewing it together. Once I finish the first like knit it together or maybe even the first part, I'm thinking of like maybe first starting to knit the whole entire bag and then starting to knit one bit like You'll get what I mean. I'll check in with you once I have accomplished something. After it took me like three billion years to figure out how to do the stitch, I finally finished and everything is sewed together and I am like so impressed. It's like, it's, it's sewed together. It's sewed. It's like, it's one. <laughs> I think this is so dumb of me to be like excited about something that is literally just sewed together, but still it's sewed together. <laughs> I still have those bits up here, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just... Because they're like close to one another, I'm just going to knot them. So there's like this extra support. And then I'm going to cut the rest off. Like snip snap, snippity snap with the scissors. I'm so hyped about this and it looks so cool. It's going to be on the back right there, I think. No wrong shoulder. Or is it? No, it isn't. <laughs> I'm just, I know, I'm too hyped. But, and now I'm just going to take the next piece and just um, go and so figure out what this is going to be like. I did it. It's done, the first bit is done, the back is completely done, it's completely sewn together. I think it looks so cool. And actually it was to be like, able to hang it there, it's... Oh. I'm so hyped, like genuinely. And like the knitting and the, the, the stitching and everything worked so well. Okay, I just finished um, kind of sewing. I'm not 100% done, I still have to do one more sleeve, but I'm just going to show you what I did. I basically finished like the front pieces and as you can see, that one right here. And I have started to, or basically not started, I have finished the 
sleeve, the first sleeve, which is her. So she's all done. She's all done. She's like a nice little tube. You can put it on, you can put it off. I have sewed the body together, except for the sleeves. I'll just have to sew this together and then I have the sleeve. And I actually think that this is so cool. And it actually is so cool. Genuinely, it's like so... I'm so hyped. A little update on the cuff making progress and whatnot. Basically, I sewed everything together. It's now one piece. And I actually started by adding the cuff that I already made. It looks amazing. <laughs> I might say so and it also like it's just fits just the way I want it to and then I made the other one the other cuff and when I tried that one on I was like constant it was like or it still is very tight and now that I start and figure out like how to do like the ribs for like the front and the back I realized that I made this cuff four stitches too small but the front rib is actually the exact same size as I made the other rib, like the rib that I made wrong. So I think I'm just going to open everything up again, remove this cuff and make this cuff into a rib and make a new cuff. Welcome to what I think is day 16. Again, I didn't check in with you yesterday, um, but I actually did do quite a bit. I basically managed to um, attach the second little rib for the front and I also got started on the back rib. I managed to finish it now and now I'm just going to sew it onto. The only thing that now is still missing is these button hand, the button thingies, like the button band, the button hole band and whatnot. <laughs> I always forget what you call those. But um, that's the only thing that, I will, that is missing and that'll be done. Definitely, I will... I will definitely be able to finish those today because they are basically just like I don't know how many stitches I haven't done this yet but I think not that many stitches and so I think that I'll be finished or that I'll be able to finish it by today and I am like so hyped but now I'm just going to stitch or sew the back rib onto the back and then the main part is actually already done I've just sewn on the last bit of the rib. The rib is not completely done and also the cuffs are not completely done. So basically the main bit is actually done. Now it's the only thing that is missing is the blue bit. I genuinely, it's like the button, button bend and the button hole bend, whatnot. Um, and I'm just making it so I've already have like a bit. But that's basically what I'm going to do and then I'm going to sew it on and then it's going to be really, really good looking. Hopefully. If it doesn't, I will be really, really upset. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. I am so hyped. And then I'm done. I can't wait. And it, like, it just it feels so great to have something or to be able to hold something in your hand and then to be able to like already wear it. It's, I just I just feel so accomplished and it makes me feel like, so happy and I feel like, okay, I accomplished something. I managed to do something without something, someone telling me that I have to do it, but I just did it for myself and I, I just love it. Now we come to a little recap of the past few days. I think the last time I checked in with you was on Friday, where I said that I would just have to knit the blue bits and sew them onto the cardigan and then I would be done. Um, well, on this Friday, I went to Vienna and I spent most of my time with my family because I have family in Vienna. So I kind of did not spend the majority of my day knitting, which means that I basically couldn't finish it on Friday as I thought I would. I always knitted when I was free. So when we were in a hotel, I was constantly knitting. You can ask my family, I really was. And it resulted in me finishing it on Sunday evening. I had some struggles with the buttonholes because the instructions for the buttonholes in the actual instructions were kind of not wrong, but not really right for my kind of buttons that I used. And I had to watch tutorials on YouTube on how to do button bands. It was kind of a struggle, but I actually managed to finish it. And I am so, so happy that I finished it. I'm just so hyped. And I have a finished product right here. I'm going to show you in just a sec. And I am just so amazed. Let me present you with the final product. As I already said in the video, I made this into a cropped version. So it is cropped. You can see the sleeves are a bit longer than the actual body of it. And this is the finished product. I am so, so proud of it. I am just so, so happy with the final product. It looks so amazing. I can wear it, which is so great. I 100% can recommend you doing this. 
because it just was so much fun and I enjoyed it so so much and it's, it feels so accomplishing it feels amazing to be able to hold this in my hands to be able to wear it and I'm just so happy and now that I told you how happy I am with this cardigan I'm also going to show you what it looks like worn so let me just throw this on here Boop. I am just so so happy I mean look at it it's it's I can wear it it's amazing the sleeves are, they fit amazing, they have a perfect length there. Thank you so so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!